Hi everyone, just a quick message before today's episode. It's Gasworks, we're always having a laugh, it's all fun and jokes, that will never change. Uh, but the truth is, we've got a massive audience and as a community, we can come together and make a change. I'm sure you're all aware of the situation in Palestine. Um, innocent lives are being lost every single day. So we've launched a one-off Palestine uh, limited edition t-shirt. We're going to run it for as long as we can. Um, all profits from this tea will be going to MAP, Medical Aid for Palestinians. I don't know if you know, but hospitals have been bombed. Uh, their, their power's been cut off. So the most important thing right now is that innocent uh, Palestinian civilians are getting the medical aid uh, and the support that is really a basic uh, human right for them. So yeah, this is, the, this is the least that we can do right now. I myself will be making a donation to MAP as well. Um, but yeah, this is a little fundraiser. The t-shirts are super affordable. They're 15 pounds. If you can afford to give more, then please go directly to map.org.uk and give them uh, as much as you can. Um, but for those of you that, you know, have got a little spare change, grab this t-shirt, represent us, Gasworks, you know, it's a nice bit of merch, but at the same time, just know that your money's going towards a, a, a very good, a very good uh, uh, cause. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy today's episode. And yeah, man, um, just please spread awareness and do what you can for the for the people in Palestine. Enjoy. Welcome back to the greatest show on planet Earth, people. This is Gasworks 2023. Round of applause, everyone. Now, what rhymes with Gasworks 2023? Crop circle free. Round of applause. What a cameo. The boy is a movie star now. Hollywood. I'll be there very soon. So you watched it? I did. You biting your lips like that for? Hmm? That was good fun, man. That was I very good lie. fun. Seeing the boy got married. You got married. This is what, what you got married. Crazy, isn't it? You're giving off a false perception. Why? To everyone up until that point. What? You married, because I felt like it was your life, and I was like, okay, okay. this is our hand's life, feels right. Got hit by a car, went into a coma. Exactly, I remember when it happened to you. Yeah. I was really, really scared. Um, so by the time we got to the marriage part, I was just like, nah. What, you don't think I get married? No. Nah. You married? Damn right. <laughs> Prenup that shit up, my boy. <laughs> this guy. We're an empire we need to protect. Yeah, I hear that still. Big up Eve, man. Do you know what's good to see? Bun yeah. Micro. Oh, come on. I can't lie. Young, when I saw him. Michael Turk, I was nah, very happy. You loved happy. it. You loved very it. Very happy. Um, but yeah, man. Big up Nina. What an opportunity. Sick fucking... That was like a month and a half of our lives just on screen there, isn't it? So... Uh, Did you smoke? So, yeah. I don't want to kill the magic here. Kill but it. obviously, in movies, not everything is as it seems, right? Now... You can get knocked over as well. What? You can get knocked over as well. <laughs> so... I didn't smoke. So obviously it was prop spliffs, yeah? Yeah. But the wedding scene actually felt like a fucking sick day out. And we had that little party afterwards. And Nina said, he goes, bro, bun this. Like, you've done crop circle free. He goes, you're part of it. He goes, just hit this for me. I said, nah, I don't want it. He goes, hit it, bro. I said, fuck it, man. I said, for you, and for, for having me as, you know, a big part of this film, I said, I'm gonna hit that. Grabbed it. I was high for the whole night. Good man, cloud nine. At My all good vendors very soon. Oh yeah, man. Serious? Yeah, I had to. It's Nina, isn't it? Nina with a Nina. <clears throat> it's Jack nice Black the Ripper it. when he passed me the spiff. I wish I just, you know, knowing what I know now. Nah, it's for real. Do you know what I'm saying? So, Shut but up. when else am I gonna be at a wedding with Nans as my best man, handing me a spliff? Like, I'll be a bastard to not hit that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like the situations where people with Snoop Dogg, like, even if you don't smoke, it's Snoop Dogg. It's true. Like, what are you doing here? It's true. Even Skepta has that appeal to me now. It's Skepta. Come on. You skipped to the baby mom. <laughs> Mass Tiempo as well. Round of applause for Mass Tiempo. Yeah, come on. Just on the, just on the closing party at IB4. Yeah? Uh, yeah, man. Couldn't go on about that place for time, but house music, bro. You know, I'm, I'm actually gonna... I'm onto something in the house music world. Go on. I'm not gonna release it soon. I'm not gonna release it soon. But maybe it might come out at some point. But just know, I'm, I'm onto something in the house scene. I'm not gonna release it soon. I'm Big man, you might as well have just told them closer to the time you're gonna release it. No, I don't want to do that. I you know. Want, I want to know what it is now. If anyone knows exactly, marketing at its finest. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. I've caught a fucking eel. Um, Big one. Or is it Jar Jar Binks? 
Looks like a nail. What else is happening? Um, you need to find a way to control your anger. You seem confused. Would you be this confused if I painted the picture of you behind the steering wheel of your uh. vehicle and there is a bicycle in front of you and potentially an old Caucasian person, I would say It was a Tory. 50. It was a Tory. Was it a Tory? Mm. It would make you angrier. It's a speed bump to me. Ay, ay, ay. No, listen. No, but the thing is, it's not the first time. You've even, you even bucked up one time. You know that guy that's notorious for going around and catching people whilst they're on their phone on camera? I saw you bucked up on them one time as well. One of them. One it of them. Cycling Mike. It wasn't the Cycling Mikey. I would love to have Cycling Mikey on the show, by the way. Where is Cycling Mikey? That's who we need to get on the show. And where, Cycling Blood Club, Mikey. And where's his dad? Bro, listen. Go on. Right. Now, everyone knows, yeah? Now, first and foremost... Yes. Now, I've got money, right? Yes, you So do. I live in Central now, yeah? Chat to them. And everyone knows that, the boys know, coming out of my garage... Yes. Right? So, I live on the main road. Chat right? to them. And there's a cycle lane there. Okay. Now, when I come out of my garage, yeah? The gates open. Yes. Red. Chat to them. And the headlights of... <laughs> the whip that you're driving. 120 back <laughs> Red. Anyway, so now cars just see, ah, right, cool, he's coming out of his garage, let's just stop. Yes. You see cyclists? Yeah. They don't believe in their brakes, bro. It's like they can't brake. So I'm coming out of the garage, there might be a bit of traffic, I'm maybe merging in and there's a car, like, I can't complete my turn, so I'm halfway out the road to kind of reserve my space in the traffic lane, but I've blocked the cycle, the cycle lane now. Bro, do you know how much of them kick up a stink? Every morning, every night, if I'm going home or coming out of my yard, just, it's part of my day now. I'm in crop circle three and you're on the back. Can't you see the difference? We are not the same, like. One's a movie star. Exactly. And one's a pussy on a pedal. Some guy replied to me, he goes, you are such a cunt. Well, I'd rather be a cunt than a cyclist. That'll be real. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be that real. is quote of the year. I would rather be a cunt than a cyclist. 100%. I'll have. That's a bad boy quote. Today's special guest is someone actually got caught with hard drugs in Aberdeen, I think. Anyway. Uh, at the steakhouse. Today's, uh, that's Angus. Oh. What the fuck? We just need to recalibrate the whole past 10 minutes. 100%. What show is this? Black Chat. Black Chat LDN. Is it Black Chat or is it Black Chat? I thought it was Blue Therapy. Blue How Therapy have leveled up. Way? Blue Therapy have leveled up. Have you seen? They've actually what? invested into sets. They're in Channel 4, bro. What? And they're selling the IP internationally. What? They're trying to come down with me, that shit. So one minute- but it's fake though, you know, we know it's fake though, though. So we've been doing Gasworks for six years. Yes. And we were in fucking Hackney, and we started in fucking Hackney. <laughs> and Blue Therapy, <laughs> that bar led Paul Bridges, is expanding globally. Anyway, today's special guest. Yes. Man, that's slim. I'm Dougie. Alright, guy. How are you guys? You look good, yeah? I've got something for you, lost still. Is that My guy. You? Very much. Legend. That's Thank you. you, bro. It must be you. Holy grail. <laughs> Get me. More rappers. <laughs> you need to start doing things like this. Physical copies. Physical copies. Easy. I can't lie, your, your branding's been on point, though. No? Your branding has been on point. Yeah. You're still working is, is like a... It's a thing for you, isn't it? What would you call that? Your motto? Yeah, my motto. I feel like you motto. do have a motto, though. There's one line of yours that I listen to and I'm like, yeah, cool. Well, let me hear it. I wrote it down even. Life ain't picture perfect, obviously, that part. But if you want shit, you will go, go and earn, earn it. it. My boy. See, that's like, I would never get I anything like tattooed nice. ever, yeah, but if there was, you know, like... So you're getting that tattoo for me? Ooh. Why for that? <laughs> but, <laughs> what? I think that's a good motto, though. Or even like in a, you know, if you had a boardroom, yeah? Or like an office, and you go to some offices and they got the big, uh, you know, life ain't picture perfect. If you want shit, you gotta go and earn it. That's real talk. Fresh home, and you dropped this album. Well, sorry, mixtape, mixtape. Mixtape. Um, you got dimples. No way. Why for that, man? Cute, isn't it? Why for that? He's cute. Why for that? I got dimples. Talk to but, um, him. Yeah, so that, you dropped this, but how long has this been in the works? Because you, you've been home for how long now? Six months. Six, Six months. months. Quick, isn't it? Yeah, very quick. So how long did you take to turn this over? Three months or something. Three months. Obviously, you know. Timing, 
process takes takes long to move mm. on, but yeah, about three months. Quickly, man. All I've been doing is working. I hear you. But obviously, I was out for four years, bro, so it's catching up, innit? And they got you in Aberdeen, yeah? Nah. What are you doing up there? They nicked me down here. Oh. Took me up there. It was working, man. They took you up there? Yeah, yeah. Where? It's called jail, isn't it? But you went to jail in Aberdeen? Um, Glasgow first. What? Scotland? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got caught here? I got arrested here for something that happened up there. Okay, <laughs> took me up for it, okay. innit? So, ended up in Glasgow. Man. Black man in Scotland? In jail? There's black people up there. In jail? <laughs> yeah. Oh, serious? Scotland Asians. You know what I mean? Jamaican side. Yeah, that, you know that's their favourites, isn't it? Yeah, I know. You know? Oh, one time I went Asda, I think I've said it before. Iron Brew? In, yeah, just but sh like the whole shelves of just Iron Brew. In Scotland? Yeah. Nah, they got to mix it up, man. I hear you. They got to mix it it's up. A Scottish drink, eh? Do not say Iron Brew is like bubblegum flavour? Sparkling and flavour. What? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. You said ice cream. That's what, that's what I used to say it was. <laughs> ice cream. Riley, you used to say a lot of things. <laughs> It'll be on there, innit? What's the flavour? It doesn't say ice cream or bubblegum. So there's, not, there's none of that in there? No. Uh, One minute, let me, let me, let me, let me do my check. Please, please do. Obviously, some of us can't read. Sparkling flavoured soft drink with sugar and sweeteners, yes. Bubblegum flavour. <laughs> it's just <laughs> dumb. Anyway, welcome, bro. Um, Appreciate it's a pleasure you, to have you on. Slim. Thank you. This is a, a little care pack from our sponsors over at Heat. Come on. So, uh, so this is from them, yeah? This is from them. Would you like to open it? Why not? Is this for me? I think so. Yeah, crazy. They got us. Jack. You had one job. Jack, you had one job. My guy. I know Bando though, so we can get it to cool. him. Cool. We'll get it to him. We'll get Just it to him. Just ignore that part. What did they give you? Slim? No, nah, I'll, let, I'll let Bando <laughs> open it. It's calm, man. I don't want to intrude. Slim, there's a question that we'd like to ask all our special guests. Go on. Slim, are you a bocat? Nope. Ooh. Bro! It's not my thing, you know. At all. You've been away for a long time, man. Things have changed now, man. Maybe, man. Why, is it your thing? Yeah, 100%. That's it. You like, do you like Iron Brew? Yeah. I don't really. No? That's your thing. So you're saying you've got a different taste? Yeah. We don't but have But yeah, no, we don't. No bowl cat. Um, not really my thing. Leave that for you. Say no more, my boy. And yard everyone man. else. Nothing against it, but it's just not me. Are you a yard man? No, no, no. It's a proper yard man thing, you know? Can, can you understand it? What? Like, can you see why someone would want a bowl cat? Yeah, cause they, it's their thing, innit? Mm. It's just not your team. Why do you want to do it? Good question. The same reason I like Iron Brew. It tastes good. Bubblegum flavour. So, uh, now Slim, yeah. earlier you said, yeah. How long have you been doing music? Are we talking about my timeout as well? That you said I never no, had? No, not your timeout. Because like, I heard you say something. Two years. This is my second year. <laughs> seriously. So you've been doing music for two years? Seriously, yeah. No, like, you can't chuck seriously in. I can, of course. Because I actually think seriously started a long time ago. What do you call serious? Like printing albums and iTunes? Nah, like seriously, um, I probably thought about it every day. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? I hear you. Where's the first video you done though? Like freestyle? That's freestyle. when I count. That's when I count rapping. When you take the, in front of the camera and you say, yo, I'm slim, I'm gonna start rapping. 2011? 2011, okay. Ah, oh, school, early, innit? Uh, so early like that? Yeah, yeah school time. So yeah. how comes there was such a delay to you taking it serious? Nah, that just was like, just that was just like on the on the on the um, on the block, you know what I mean? Freestyle video, the older guys is rapping. Nothing like not in the studio. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So when's the first time you went to the studio then? <laughs> time after that? I've been music's been a thing, do you know what I'm saying? I, people was rapping in school. Like this part, look, see, they're gonna play me something now. What a legend. I thought he was gonna go back. You know this, this is a serious video. This is hard. Come on, you're outside. What year is this now? Show me this. 2010. Jesus. December, December. 23rd of December. 2010. They gave him a little Christmas present. How old was you here? 15. 15? Yeah, yeah. 2010, yeah, 90, I'm all 95, isn't it? 15. It goes harder, this is nothing. Yeah, you take it, you take it in like that. What's this? Hmm? So the teacher, the Maggie. Look, banging lines, got a smooth and cake, and look, I grab my food like a hungry child. 
Bibb's got a stick here to pump as well. So how can you say you've been doing this? Nah, you're cut. You was cold from early. You was cold from early. Maybe, yeah, because you had a head start because you were so cold from early. You just thought you can chill out. Nah, 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 nah. You can't tell me you weren't. This is cold from early. Cold. 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 Early, bro. Early. What the Maggie does. Cool. Nah, I love so it, you man. got this lyric for lyric? Nah, not lyric for lyric, but there's certain bits I remember. Say nothing. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, one of them pages posted that. I think either when you first went in or first came out or something. I was like, oh. But that's crazy, though, because how can you be that good, yeah? Like, so young, and then not even take it serious until so late what's in your reason? eyes. What's the reason to take it serious in 2010? There's no money. You didn't feel like there was no, no one that was doing it commercially big, so you didn't feel like I there was... 15, the least of my worries was... Taking music serious. Yeah, yeah but that. you seem to have a bit of mad worries at 15, though. <laughs> I was outside. Carry 23 concerned. like Carragher at 15, that's mad. That is outside. mad. How are you holding more than your age? That's crazy. Outside. I hear you. That's why we're here today, isn't it? Well, back inside. Inside now. Who's yeah, saying do, do you have many uh, friends in the in the rap game? I've got a few, yeah. Yeah. Who we got? Then? H, my guy, mm. your guy, mutual. Tunde. Yeah, Tunde. Proper. Well. What a hero he is. Tunde is proper still. Have you done a track with H? You kind of look like him, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Dimple, the eyes. You always watch, man. Nah, man. Try not to get mesmerized. Do you want to sit here? Nah, chill. Nah, leave him over there, man. It's cool. Oh. But I heard something though. I heard that you asked to sit here because you you got a good side. Nah, this is my good side. You sure? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought, thought you wanted to sit there because of the big spot on yeah, your nose. Yeah, no, That's why you put one, a plaster good on one, it. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Oh yeah. So you're not a diva. You didn't come and demand my seat. Nah, like, I've not been doing the show for years. Like, you've only been in music for two years. You said shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> oh. Steady, man. Good. Your show. Why would I come and demand? This is your show. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, now a lot of rappers will release something and get. We've seen it happen plenty of times. Like, it's happened to Potter, it's happened to countless rappers. Yeah. They'll release something, they make noise, they might get festival bookings or whatever. Like, it's about to be a very good year. And then boom, like, it's just over. Done. So what was that feeling like knowing that you've kind of got the streets on lock, but you're not really there to kind of have your flowers? Back, it was in the back of my head, you know. Obviously I was thinking about it, but obviously I just went in, so I'm not thinking about sorting out my sentence. And what, music's not really on your mind? It was still, but I didn't really, remember I went in like two days after my headline show, a month after my tape drop, I didn't really get Jesus to... Jesus. What, did you do your headline show knowing you're getting in? No, I knew I had court. Okay. I knew I had court, so the next day, when I finished my show, I went up to Scotland for court, and bang, it was from there. But, I knew, I knew, um, I knew as long as I, the tape does well, when I get out, there'll be something waiting, innit? Yeah. But I but didn't not, really... That's not I, always the case, though. I'll be real. Yeah, I've got no, I'll be real. Not. And especially on your, like, come up. But I think, you see, after about, maybe f the three years, you know, when I clock people are still waiting and that, and there's still a bit of support. Yeah. For as long as I come back. There was a lot of yeah, support. Yeah. As long as I come back with a good music, innit? Mm. That's the main thing. Did you have a game plan for when you were coming up? Yeah, I was trying to hit them. Just rapid, rapid. Mm. Literally within the six months, I was trying to. It was meant to be four months, I was trying to release my tape, but you know how it goes. Do you know what I find interesting, yeah? Like the, the trials and tribulations early on in man's career. So, like the comparison thing was something I saw on Twitter with you a lot. Yeah, yeah. And you've just started making music. You've just started this whole journey. You're kind of just on your own trajectory. The last thing you need to do is to be compared. So when you came out and you was getting getting compared, how how did you react to that? How did I react? Honestly, or was there any any reaction altogether? No reaction. Obviously, I've seen it. Everyone sees it. But at the same time, if you're comparing me to someone who's kind of meant to be at the top of the scene right now or, or that kind of lane. It must be a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. I can only... I feel like you're getting compared on looks, though. Obviously. Yeah, maybe like, may, maybe know, they've like, never seen two, two mixed race people that went hard and go hard and come through rapping, that's it. I know you that's just... Okay. You're going to say a watchman again. 
but I don't know. That's all you've been talking about, is other man. And who looks like who, and who's cute, and who would look good in a video. There's no denying that. I think you're cuter than... So you got obviously you get compared to Fredo, yeah? I think you're the cute one. And also, obviously, looking at you like this, Fredo's got a mad side profile. That mad side profile. I think, as a kid, maybe he was laid on the back of his head a bit too much because it's mad flat. But obviously, seeing yours, there's angles there. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know, is it? I, I haven't really sat at the side of him and pre the back of his head like I have. the way you watch, man. I have. <laughs> I have. Yeah. Don't you think Slim looks like a Simpsons character? Slyly, isn't it? You're lucky I never come prepared for you, you know, today. Oh, like that. That. Just le let's carry on the convo. Let me get back to that. <laughs> Slim Simpsons. What? Can, you, can you not see it? Surely. What character? So who? Who is it? Yeah. Uh, you're I don't not, know who it is. It's a new H, character. You said H. You said Fred. H, H you said like Fred. No, but you just told me I look like H I look like H. I look like Fred. I look no. like a Simpsons ah, character. Yeah. Who else? That's it for now. You sure? Something will sporadically come in his mind, like in yeah, five minutes, same. and he'll tell you. Now, still working two is out. Round of applause for that as well. And I see, yeah, you've done, you've done the CDs, you've done the pop-up. Hard um, The work rate is up. Now, Picture This is a very, one of my favourite songs. So you've done Picture Me with Potter. What was that link up like? Honestly, two days before the deadline, the tape drop, sent it to Potter, came out the next day with the verse. Why are you on Lincoln? No way. So there's not really been, like, because you're, you're kind of going against the grain here. A lot of rappers say how long they take on their work and they like to master their craft. You've turned around a project in three months and one of the good songs on there was in 24 hours. No, the tune, I had the tune done. Okay. Sitting there. But then I thought, let me try and get, you know, people take long. I was meant to have a couple other features and that kind of thing, people take long. Do you have a relationship with Potter? Since I come out, still I've been talking. Okay. They're good people, man. Yeah, he We've is. Got some mutuals as well, so. Sick. Mutual, so. Sick. Let's talk money is a good song. Yeah. It's about you forgot the apostrophe in let's. It's pissing me off. It should be let us talk money, so there should be an apostrophe. It's cool. Ever since you got married, fam. But on on, on Spotify, it is it does it's have correct. the apostrophe. So who are we blaming for that? Me or definitely you. Yeah. 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 Or oh, actually, right. it says here copyright twenty twenty three GRM Daily Limited. All oh, right, so. <laughs> So, so who are we blaming now? Posty. Because Timmy's story is his story, so the apostrophe is there. Blame oh, Jake. Yeah, Jake. No, don't blame Jake. Blame Posty. Why? There's a boy lead. But yeah, I think it's a strong album, man. Definitely is a strong album. I appreciate it, bro. How do you think it compares to Still Working? I think it's... Do you think it's a better album? It might not sound as raw, mm. but musically, production-wise, definitely better. I feel like my writing improved. Yeah. Was some of the writing from Joe? Did you have like bars that you prepared from Joe and then? Yeah, a couple of it was from Joe still, so. Good but we're not in it, it's with time. Look, still working, what's that? Four years people saying I've been rinsing it. So we're not in it, it's not, it's mm. only been a few days. Will it be a still working free? Is this your thing that you kind of? If it's, yeah. um, if it's wanted by the people. Mm. I definitely would be wanted. But it's still working your brand now. Okay. Have I got my t-shirts with? Yeah, they're here. Ah, sick. Just like your people sent me that box. Come on, yeah. Heat sent me that box for um, Bando. For you, yeah, no, it was yours. It says your name on it, no? It might be an extra small cuff, the one yeah. I give you, the T-shirt. You know the process here yeah, of the writing when it comes to this one and the last one? What were the major differences you noticed um, in, in terms of the time that you had? Did you have to work at a high intensity because Probably you wanted to get it out in, in comparison to the previous project? Yeah, but even the previous one, we probably wrapped out quick, but the whole process where we just kind of got into the actual music scene properly, working things out. It took a bit longer to actually get out. Oh, yeah. But this one here, we kind of knew and we had a plan. Are you smiling over there for? How's Lewis? Who? Lewis. Who? Lewis. Who's Lewis? In that your lot's boy? <laughs> he, eats oh. ha he eats ham. Come, what was you saying, Paul? Lewis ham. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb, man. This guy, bro. What? It's my guy still. My guy. My yeah. Guy, my guy, yeah. We talk about the process in, in writing and the second project and the intensity. You said it was similar or different. No, I kind of kind of knew a bit more what we had to do this time. Because you're not open to the scene, as you said. Yeah, so. yeah. I kind of knew what 
And were the people, so when you came out, were people that you had good relationships with prior, were they still like prone to working with you again or was it kind of a little bit? Yeah, yeah, Hunch and, Huncho, M. Huncho and um, Hedy was in there rapid. Straight like, away. The first few weeks we was in there locked in. Um, Manelia's on there, she come through as well first month. Most of the features were done rapid within a f the first month. And that's the thing really? that takes the longest sometimes features. Yeah, yeah. People be taking it was only the part one that yeah, come that's back. What we're come back the the Heady one we had on our phone since Gumball, no? Heady was playing that to us in Gumball. It's like two, three, that was almost three months. Man had like a different that. version or something. There was a version of that song that's like four and a half minutes. We've got, okay. we've got another verse. You've done another song with him as well, isn't it? What's happening to that one? There it is. Yeah, this one's better. I think that one should stay unheard. Underwear? Unheard. On who? Unheard. Oh. Yeah. This one's the better. You released a better one. Believe me. Talk to me. What is Lewisham saying? Because I, to be honest with you, I know Lewisham from Grand Days. I know Lewisham from like Novelist. Um, Nov, yeah. Uh, the Square. Who else is in uh, The Square? Like Elf Kid. That was, that's my, uh, that was my kind of understanding of Lewisham. Very grimy. Well, how old are you? That's still fairly 20, new though. Huh? That's still fairly new as well. 20 what? 24. <laughs> You're laughing at that. No, serious, serious, serious. Good one, good one, good one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Seriously. 24, bro. Don't do that. Come on, Slim. I've, I've complimented you. I said you look cute. I said you got fucking dimples. And you're laughing at me. What the fuck? I'm being honest. Cool. 24. Nah, you look, you look good for your age, still. <laughs> well, did you, was you a Graham kid? Yeah, yeah. What, what, you actually stepped into Graham? Yeah. Tell me about that. When I was about 10, 11. Yeah. What, Pirate Radio? Nah. Freestyles? Freestyles. What cameraman was coming to the block when you were no, 10? I had a studio. Okay. You had a studio at 10? Older guys on the, on the block. Okay. Um, I had a gram when I was at year, year 5, year 6. 10 years got, old. You, you, you don't remember them bars? No, I can get you the song though. You want it? No way you've got that. I ain't got it, but I can probably get it. Yeah, 100% bro. That's old school. How old is you? You made that an exclusive. 10 or something? That is cool. 10 or something, isn't it? 10. You know the executive producer is on this project? You have to do some research, man. Executive producer? Or where? Sure. Oh, it's in the booklet. Come on, man. He gave you a booklet. If it's his poster. Our hand don't care about all of that. He just Who's gives not? out band or case stuff. <laughs> <laughs> to random people. Let me show you, bro. See that name right there? Ah, Desperado and King Wizard. See Desperado? So tell me, who's Desperado? Slim. He's just being silly, silly man. Who's Desperado? Despero the, name, the name rings a bell. Oh, Desperado. You're talking about one of the... I see him. Even the back, just looking... At, listen, Desperado for me growing up anyway. In terms of flows, lyrics, on grime, especially the way he bodied the Channel U era. Every feature, oh. he completely bodied with oh. ease. And now he's executive producing your project. So you would have seen, did you see a lot of his stuff when you was growing up as well? Yeah, yeah. Grand so, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So Grand how does it feel now? The impact that he had, which was, you know, very, very big, and now working on your project, how does that feel? It helped, it? Obviously, he's my manager as well, isn't it? So, oh, this is too cold. He's my manager, so that's where it comes into hand. Smart. Grab him while I'm young, Desperado. <laughs> <laughs> Grab him while they're young. So it, it was his studio when you were 10? Nah, 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 nah. You sure? Steady, man. Trust me. Sounds like a 360 lifelong deal, my boy. Steady, man. Inside, outside. That's no, my shit. guy, man. It's my guy before music, man. Sick. What's a feature that you haven't kind of released yet that you might? Is there, is there, is there a feature that in the pipeline? Who would you like to see me do a tune with? Uh, I don't know, you know. I feel like you could come with a... I don't know, like a... I feel like you could do a mad, like, girl sample. You know, old school, like, real road rap, yeah, that would have the mad hooks from girls, like... I don't know, like the old nine scrap shit. It's just got a mad girl on the, that. That I could see being your bag. But it could be something unexpected like Adele or fucking Amy Winehouse or something. Oh, you mean a sample? Yeah. But what feature would you see on it? I know. Yeah, what feature? You said any feature. Adele or Amy Winehouse? Why do you not think you could be in the studio? Can you line it up for me? No, I couldn't, but your smile could definitely open a few doors. <laughs> see? He's doing it now. So yeah. with music, like, who's the feature though that you would like to like like to collaborate with? Because I know a lot of the people that have been rapping for a long period of time would have had a lot of influences overseas, whereas a lot of the younger crop would probably have more influences just from the UK. So would I you feel, be? I feel like they're something brewing with H. 
You didn't say that name for no reason. Definitely. I didn't say it. I didn't actually say H. Who did you say? H. Heady. Yeah, you do look like that H as well. I think there's more resemblance there than the other H. Yeah, no, Heady, Heady still, Heady. Um, yeah, man. Anyone overseas, though, that you would potentially see yourself collaborating with? I've got a couple, couple European um, features I'm looking to do. Mm. But honestly, see right now, my mind's out on my tape. Just Anyone, whatever makes sense, you get me? So, ah. And I got, I got something with N a couple songs with NSG there. That's a vibe. Um, a couple of people. Yeah. Actually, yesterday, who, whoever that, no, 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 whoever that was at the lights. Um, you were so angry, bro. What? Because oh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. Oh, talking about that. So, yeah, fuck that cyclist as well. But uh, there was a kid yesterday on uh, where Bo kind of meets Canary Wolf. Just where the Blackpool Tunnel is, you kind of go left on the slip road and then you go right and then into kind of Canary Wolf bit. There was a kid there. It was actually, a, it was like a movie, bro. Yeah. I'm Do you want to get on with it then, mate? If, uh, Fuck it, I'm no. <laughs> anyway, so we by the lights and he goes, yo, he's like, nice car, bro. I said, love my guy. I said, nice to meet you. Anyway, I swear, like, whoever strapped me from land, we both like turned our music back up and the same song, we were both playing Picture Me, was in sync, bro. I swear to you, on my mother's life. But you film everything that happens, so what? where is this on your story? No, I don't film everything that happens, bro. On my mother's life, bro, it was the, I was like, what the fuck? I was with Twin, I looked at him, I said, what? I said, bro, you're playing the same song? I turned mine down, his is still playing. I said, that's mad. So yeah, the Asian youths in my land are banging your shit, bro. They got your sticks as well. Do you see yourself trying new things as well with your type of sound? Where do you, and where do you see yourself going with the sounds that you have? I can see Slim, Ocean Beach, a bit of house music. I'm on that. I'm looking, for, I'm looking for a house remix. Like, Serious? You're lying. House remix. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't say it. Oh, you got someone? I've got someone for you. I'll do the remix. Remember yeah. this conversation, yeah. Are you being serious? 100% bro. Oh, yeah. Remix of what song? We'll pick one, innit? All right, cool. And obviously, if it, if it goes off, I think you can take, you can take your time. side could be a hard house song, you know? You think? I'm on the passenger side of my best friend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 100%. Mm -hmm. Do that cool. again? That was hard. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so what, house music? You tapping into that world? What about dubstep? Let's get it, man. Dubstep? Let's get it. I could see you being a bit of a goth. Like black eyeliner, shave ha half your <sighs> hair off. I thought we was about to have a serious, half serious conversation. No, we are. This we is are. Uh, us. Uh, not dubstep, not dubstep. Getting a back and uh, whatever. So what do you know about house music then? Have you ever been to IB before? Yeah, Ocean Beach. Now, are you the guy that stands in the pool or do you stand outside by the pool? I, I, I went in the pool still. Cool. <laughs> can you swim? You can. I'm good. a good swimmer still. Good swimmer? Cool. Serious? Serious swimmer. Fighting them I'm definitely a better like, swimmer than you. Yeah, 100%. percent you, you You're fucking athletic. Ain't you? Slim. Come on, man. Mm. Steady, man. What are you watching, man? You mesmerized. Did you see that girl actually sprinkling the ashes in Yeshwaya? Oh my you see that god, video? Have you that, seen that was crazy. Who's it? Friend, Who is it? A brother or a boyfriend? I think it was a... Uh, you mean sprinkling ashes? A dead brother? She had to earn... Oh, ashes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. In the dance? Oh. Nah, you can't chuck the ashes in the dance. That's crazy. Well, that's a viral moment. That, one, that can't nah, be Nah, it was definitely viral. It can't be a real I'm thing. Saying it's not real. That's for the internet, man. A woman spread her brother's ashes into a busy swimming pool in Ibiza. She was filmed opening a tube containing a grey dusty substance and sprinkling it into the water. Then she, she probably did still. Now I'm not gonna lie. Let's say she got bagged, and they say, "Yeah, we've seen a video of you sprinkling cocaine into a pool." Now, a very good comeback for that would be nah. It's my brother's ashes. Do you not think? But it was definitely her brother's ashes. Why would you assume it was cocaine? Because she's a whack girl in Ibiza. I mean, let me, let's watch it again. You could probably tell me. Is that drugs? <laughs> Where do you go to spend time to get away? Glasgow. <laughs> you know what? I can't even fly out now, so I'm in a pickle. Oh, I'm pissed. Oh, sugar. Pissed. I can't fly out anywhere right now, so. Well, the music transcends us places that we could never get a flight to. Still working to the album, the mixtape. Out now. My guy. What, you can't travel for how long? Um, like another year, I think. Oh, I'm pissed. Oh, it should be alright. See, as long as. 
We well, get, yeah. we, if we get that um, house remodeled, yeah, done surely and we'll like, just go. Was it Home Office or like Scotland Yard? Say, so, nah. listen to the song. Fucking hell, like, <laughs> surely, like, Musk, man, come bust in my flight. Now, yeah, Ma- <laughs> Musk can go IB for <laughs> at least. But yeah, man. Well, when 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 you ca- when you are free, where are you planning on going? Caribbean, I think. For yeah, yeah, it's gotta be Caribbean. Is that where you're from? Where are you from? You got the best musicians, Caribbean. What do you think? Mm. Go on, let me hear what Barbados. Nah, but I get it. I think Trinidad. Jamaican? Mm-mm. It's steady stuff. I'm English, so I'm just British, isn't it? Dimples. Yeah, you, could, you couldn't be Jamaican with them dimples. Definitely are English. What's your name? Stephen. And that's Stephen Slim. Where does the name Slim come from? I used to be, uh, I used to be fat, innit? Oh. And what was your, what was your regime? Because I'm trying to learn how to look like this, boy. It, no, it means I'm um, smart in Dutch, innit? You should know this. Why should I know this? Where's your kids from? Sweden. Oh, yeah. That's fucking crazy. What? Smart in Dutch is slim. That's cold. I don't need to lie to you. What do you think I was like? Nah, I'm but I just... That's you cold, have, though. You have, to, you have to see it to believe it. Yeah, yeah. What's what? poet in Dutch? I know it sounds shit. No way. Dicta. 100%. <laughs> Pre poet in Dutch. Dicta. No lies were told. Is that how you pronounce it? Pronounce it? Dichter. Yeah, Dichter. Oh. Man like Dichter, you know, oh, you should right. never have asked me that. That's a long day in hell. Why did I even Welcome ask? back to the greatest show on planet Earth. Your boy Alhan and man like Dichter. Is this, is this meant to be for sure? Are we? Bro, everything is yours on this No table, proper bro. food though. Say again? There There's no? proper food coming. Obviously, German Donner Kebab, one yeah. of our sponsors. Is That's, that's for Bando K. Okay. That's <laughs> 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 not an index. Well, bro, what are you trying to do, bro? <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to do? I'm just showing, you how, I'm just showing everyone how you do it, because it looks yeah. good. I saw, I saw, I've seen it on YouTube. I yeah. said, yeah, this looks good. I want to go in there. They're, they're looking after everyone. I came and there's... um. <laughs> Check this out, my dick. Two for one pound, 59p. These used to be 30p. Yeah, they did. It used to be three for a pound, now it's only two. <laughs> two for a pound? It's still three for a pound in, in, in the ends. No, it's not. It is, and we're green, 100%. Hundred percent. Wood Green's been stuck in the past, bro. Wood Green, Edmonton Green. You see the JD logo. Yeah, oh, bro. You know about North? Do you know about North? Certain places in North is nineteen ninety five right now. Proper old school cab stations. Yeah, Fans have got the best rappers. Ooh. South. I don't know. Nah. I don't know. It's an argument, isn't it? Are we gonna tell me? If we got, if we, got if we got so many in North. There's a difference between the hardest and the biggest. You know what I'm saying? Like, Both are where? Who? Both are away. Just carry on. This is my <laughs> fucking my right, cool. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The most popular and actually who's technically the best is a whole different type of conversation. So you could say that South originated drill. That six seven. All the, yeah. Brixton. Yeah. Yeah. It might. Yeah. I can't lie. It might be South. They got pair rappers. But North, surely. We had our time though. Our time. K Trap South as well, isn't it? Okay, trap or stuff. But North surely got the crown at one point now. Yeah, Hedy, Hedy. O- all the OFB. Abra. Abra, yeah. We still have Rich, still have Chip, still have Skeppy. I'm thinking about Drill. Oh, we ah, Drill. Surely North, bro. For Drill, I'm not One sure. of the biggest artists in the world is from North London, ain't, ain't that right, Jay? Adele. People are saying, though, the skill level in rap is not as high as it used to be as well. It's not. So that's. Oh, you, you agree with that? You don't think that the skill level required to be a rapper today? Not to be a rapper, no. The skill required to be a rapper, definitely like... Is low, the it's like we're lower. saying, isn't it? Obviously, to, to come up now, well, look at RD, I don't know how he done it, but the skill to come up now, you need to be a good rapper, RD. What do you mean? He's whack. So, the skill to come up now as a rapper... <laughs> Crazy guy, man. I'm only hearing laughter. The skill, you had a lot of talk for self. So, who? this is obviously not a debate. You're agreeing with me. Anyway. About what? If he's white, who are these white? What are you talking about? No, whack. Oh, I thought you said white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you just, you know you talk nonsense. <laughs> oh, that's an opinion, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but a valid one. So, to make it as a rapper now, I think you do still need to that be sick. But the work that some of these rappers are releasing, whack. Whack. I wonder why it is. Do you reckon they just... Is it- Cause even Drake dropped a new album, man. I'm a Drake fan. I thought, I don't care. I'll say on camera, I'm a Drake fan, and I was disappointed. Yeah, man. Good luck to you, bro. Nah, I was disappointed, man. I think I think the skill level um, 
It's a lot, the bar's a lot lower, and I think the UK, I'm seeing a lot more. I haven't even taken Drake's tape, innit? Ah, you don't worry, man. It's not. I'll get around to it. So. 21 Savage is coming back, innit? Yes, he's got his green card. Mm. From your side? No, he's not. Where's he from? Where's he from North? East. Yeah. From yeah. Europe? East. East? Shit, they've won. East has won. I thought Newham was south. Oh yeah, Newham Generals. It would be east, yeah. Well, there we go, boys. Fuck north for south. The god is returning. Fuck that guy, man. What do you reckon? 21 Savage and Slim? Big. Mm. Dimples galore. Man, has he got, has he got dimples? I don't know. I don't watch man like that, bro. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> hey, round of applause for Slim, people. Thank you for coming, my boy. Big up, big up, big up. Say hi to Lewis, yeah? Who? Lewis. You're mad, man. You're crazy. And no, honestly, though. Yeah. Are you 24? Are you being serious now? Bando. I'm being serious. Oh, he's really 24. Give Bando a case box back, bro. 